hello uh what a do sky squad welcome back beautiful people um and this is my 19th month vlog update um yeah so i don't know if i'm gonna upload the video i just did it was basically a get ready with me chit chat and it's like 40 something minutes long and i don't want to edit not nothing um so i don't know i might upload it my wi-fi sucks so it takes forever so that would probably take a whole day that's what it feels like um, just so you guys know, on my face, I have Fenty Foundation 400. It's my color number. I am wearing the uncensored red color from Fenty. And in my inner eyes, I'm using Trophy Wife by Fenty. Apparently, I am a Fenty lover. I love Fenty. Um, and I do love the new um, shades on the Instant Age Rewind. This is absolutely my favorite. I have the color tan. Highlight me. Um, but yeah, so let's just get into this journey. Um, I was really hoping, like I couldn't wait to come and talk to you guys just basically about my 19 month vlog update and now I'm trying to remember everything I want to say. But while I'm thinking, I'm going to show you up close look and personal look of my locks and I know probably from like this situation it looks like, you know, they're all uniform and they're all perfect, but they're not. And that's the beauty of it. So let's just look around. I am embracing the frizz. And here's what my front two pieces are doing. These are the ones that I was really worried about. Yeah, I'm trying to find, oh, that's the other one that I could find to, you know, I hate when locks try to hide from you. Oh, here we go. Okay, so let's talk about this first while I got it, um, while I found it. Um, so basically, my end's pretty much sealed. I mean, pretty much. There's probably like one or two that still has a little fuzzy ball on the end, and honestly, at this point, I just pull them off no big deal happens um so let me show you the ends so you see the like it's like basically loose hair right here you see how it's like curly like that's sealed and this is that so what had happened was i could feel like this lock was different so at first it was like like a bubble kind of like it was like shrunk up and I can feel like a bubble on the side. And so I just kept messing with it and messing with it and messing with it. And then I realized I have basically freaking loose hair right there. I have loose hair right there. And it's curly and it's kind of cute. And I'm not mad at that. Um, I don't know how that happened or why that happened. But I know I probably didn't help the situation but I kept messing with it. Um, as you guys know, I did my African Black Soap. Uh, shampoo I did um, this last time I used 12 professionals because I wasn't at home I did my no clip retwist which was the fastest thing ever and um, I used um, the my gel by Joanne naturals I believe is how you say it um, that gel which I'll have a more in-depth um, review um, after my next retwist because I, I feel like I need to try it at least twice to really see how I feel about it and since I didn't use it with my African black soap um, or, and I didn't use it, you know, in combination with my rose water and all that. I want to see how it actually works with all my natural products um, together. Um, but I really feel like that gel is basically like, it's basically edge control. It's basically edge control. And, um, but I feel like if you have thick locks, it probably would be beneficial. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I know for me, like these front two pieces right here. Um, I was really worried about the integrity of my hair because, again, what I don't mind embracing the frizz, but so much hair would just come out of the lock. Like, it just would, so much hair just wouldn't stay put with it. I don't care if it's frizzy, you know, like these are frizzy, but I would have like a whole many afros right here that just wouldn't grow with the lock. And that's why I thought, oh, maybe I need to put them into different locks. Um, I decided to put them back together because I felt like I was compromising the foundation of my locks and I really was so when I hold my lock up and all the hair will be out I can feel the tension on my scalp but to the eye it doesn't look like it's thinning 
it never got super thin it never like you know it never looked like that it looked fine but I can feel the tension on my scalp until I put it back together um, so that's one of the main reasons I got the my gel again because I know it has such a good hold my lactation used it um, in the beginning of my lock journey and I think it will help my mom's lock journey go on better which her locks are growing I'm just trying to get um, like some parts of her hair hasn't started locking yet but the ones I have have are locked and are sprinting and so I'm really happy about that and maybe one day when she becomes more confident I can share I've been taking pictures this whole time so maybe one day when she's confident I can share her um, lock journey with her permission but I will say it's overall it's growing and it's doing well um, but I really needed something of a more lasting hold than my flaxseed gel I love my flax on fleek that's probably my favorite sorry that's probably my favorite but the my gel does provide a long lasting hold um, even after your hair is frizzy and even after you spritz it um, so my hair is like frizzy but it's still staying for the most part with the lock so I really do appreciate that um, so I probably will be using that from time to time I will be using that consistently when it comes to my mom's locks for sure had no problems I did use a suave professional shampoo like I said um, but I didn't use a conditioner and I don't know what it was. I'm going to say it was the Suave Professionals. I don't really know. We'll, we'll see after this next retwist what it is. My hair never is itchy. Like, never. I legit was scratching my head. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what the deal is. Um, yeah, you know, I don't know if I needed like a deeper clean. I don't really know what the problem was. So this time when I do my normal regimen with the new gel, I will see if I still have the itchiness. I'll let you guys know. So that's why I'm waiting on the My Gel review, in-depth review. Um, but yeah, my hair was itchy and that was, I don't know. Anyways, I grabbed my lavish water, 100% lavender water on my site. You know where to go get it. Um, I did that and I followed up with hemp oil. I used all my oils. Like one week it was this one, one week it was the next one. So um, I like my flight box for that because you can get the rosé, the lavish waters, and then all three of my oils. So if your hair needs something else at a certain time, you have it already there with you. So, um, and that stopped the itchiness pretty well. Um, now with embracing the frizz, I did realize like my hair does not visibly look dirty. However, which is not dirty right now, but before I wash my hair, I like looked at my locks and just kind of like uncoiled it and that's where the dirt was hiding just say it you know how like you used to get braids and when you take the braids out there'd be like this line of like dirt or oils or old skin scales or whatever yeah that's what's happening so it didn't look dirty and it didn't feel dirty but it was dirty so I needed to wash it I didn't want to wait and I did the quickest retwist ever, and I'm I'm happy about that. So good things happen sometimes. Um, what else? What else is new? So this is doing better. I'm not really too worried about that. Like I said, I'll just keep using the my gel because the hold is phenomenal. Um, really, I don't know. Like I guess my hair has grown. I really don't know. When I look month to month now, it looks so similar. Um, like. It's it's still like shoulder length, you know. Um, it's not like super, super long. Um, but you guys keep telling me you guys see the growth. I think you can tell more like if I have my hair up. Like you know, you can see like my little ponytail there. Um, I will say my ponytail is getting thicker. Jesus. Whew. My ponytail is getting thicker. So I feel like it doesn't look as long. But there's so much hair in this thing. <laughs> That's my ponytail. Like it's just getting thicker. Um, my lock. My combined locks are still flourishing. I feel like this just looks thicker. Like I feel like it wouldn't have been this thick. If I left it alone to begin with, but and I do have some thick locks, and believe it or not, I did think about that I want to restart my lock journey for a brief moment in time. 
Because look how thick that lock is. Like, that, that girth, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I just like how thick it is. And also, because I have this side part, my temples are not the exact same size. Like, my sides are not exactly the same, the same exact size. Like, I don't know if you can tell. Like, this side is a little bit, mm, they look close enough, but I, when I feel it, you can probably tell on this one. This side is thinner than this side. And I don't know if that's just because of how this part was done. or So my, my locks aren't uniform all the way around. I will say around the front is definitely smaller than the ones that are like throughout my head. And I'll just show you my ends. See, I still have that. I probably would just... Over here. Yeah, I just I just took it off. Uh, it's really no big deal at this point. But yeah, and sometimes these, see they're a little different too. So I know my, my locks look well together, but they all are not the same. So, um, but yeah, that's my lock journey and I'm still loving it. I haven't had any more lock nightmares, like my locks like being combed out or anything, which is good. Um, even then, I, by the end of the dream or when I woke up, I was like, oh, I need to restart my life journey. It wasn't like, oh, this is a sign, you know. So, um, but that's it. My hair doesn't itch anymore now. I just had to really go ham with my lavish water and my oils, and I was back on track. But I don't know what, I don't know what it was. But yeah, that was my life journey. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, bye.